Today I'll teach you how to call controller from view using jQuery Ajax in ASP.NET MVC. So let's start. Now I'll be adding a new class to the models folder. I am naming it as person model. So here I have added two properties, name and date time. Now I'll add the controller to the project. I'm selecting the MVC controller empty option. I'll name the controller as home controller. And then I'll click on add. Here I am adding another controller for handling the jQuery Ajax call. As you can see the return type is JSON result. As we are returning a JSON object. Also you will notice that I am accepting a parameter name. And this particular parameter will be sent from the client side using jQuery Ajax. Inside the action method I am creating an object of person model class. In the name property I am setting the value of the name parameter. And in the date time property I am setting the current date time. Finally, I am returning the percent model class object after wrapping it inside the JSON function. Now I am decorating this particular action method with HTTP POST attribute as it will be handling the HTTP POST call. Now I am adding a view to the project. I am making use of empty without model template and I am keeping the partial view and layout options as unchecked. Now here I am creating an HTML text box which will accept the name value. Then I am creating a button and when this button is clicked the jQuery Ajax call will be made to the server side method. So now I have inherited the jQuery minified file. And we'll start writing a jQuery code. So first I'm adding the document ready event holder. And inside that I'll assign a click event holder to the button. Now inside the click event holder, I am calling the jQuery Ajax function. The very first attribute is type and I am setting it as post. Then the URL of the action result method. In the data attribute, I am setting the value of the name parameter. And the value of the name parameter is fetched from the name text box. Then I am specifying the content type, which is application slash JSON, as the format of the data we are sending is in JSON format. The next property is data type. This is used to specify the type of data we will receive. So the type of data we will receive is also JSON. Now 
Now inside this access event handler, I am displaying the value of the name and also the value of the date time returned from the server side action method inside a JavaScript alert message box. The next event handler is to handle failure and here simply the response text is displayed in JavaScript alert message box. In similar way, I am creating an handler for handling error and here also the response text will be displayed in JavaScript alert message box. So with this we complete our programming part and now it's time to run our project and see it in action. So now I'll type in my name in the text box and I'll click on the button. As you can see my name as well as the current date time from the server is being displayed in JavaScript alert message box. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.